Hey guys, this will be my unboxing and short review of the Aquarius X from the company called BQ. It's a company here in Europe, uh, actually in Spain. And uh, this is actually their top of the line. There's only one more model, the pro version of this, uh, which is better. Dar pentru cei care vor să vadă acest review în limba română, o să las un link în descriere unde puteți să vedeți de asemenea un link către un magazin de unde puteți să-l cumpărați în momentul în care devine disponibil. So, uh, let's see, first impressions, nice box, very nice materials used, designed in Europe, Qualcomm Snapdragon, of course, it's Qualcomm Snapdragon. It uh, comes in black, mineral black actually, it has a white version. Okay, Aquarius 32 gigs of storage and 3 gigs of RAM. The only version you can choose from. Uh, the Aquarius X Pro has a 4 gig version with internal storage going up to 64 gigs or 128. I'm not sure. So, the unboxing experience, actually this right here, really a Huawei style unboxing. The phone really nice phone, glass, plastic and aluminum all over the edges, really nice chamfered edges okay let's see what you get in the box you get a pamphlet with accessories a sim card remover tool a USB-C cable and the wall adapter A black wall adapter also a black cable you don't get in the package you don't get headphones because why put one dollar headphones when you can go buy them i think by this time everyone has headphones lying around on their house so first impression of the phone in the hand 153 grams uh really nice experience uh really nice materials used uh, okay let's start it up android 7.1.1 stock android experience um no physical buttons whatsoever no force touch buttons no like that only the fingerprint scanner here very fast fingerprint scanner actually i'm gonna show you on this u plus how fast it is I think it's fast. I don't know. Okay, so what you get for 300 euros, I think, including shipping, I think it will reach you 320, 330 uh, euros. So, this is a 5.2 full HD screen. It comes with a density of 423 ppi. It has a 16 by 9 ratio, okay, a 2.5D multi-touch 10 capacitive point screen and the quantum color. I don't know what the quantum color is, but I th it sounds really cool. So, the processor in this is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 626 with, it's an octa-core, uh, up to 2.2 gigs. And the video processor is a, a Qualcomm Adreno 6, uh, 506 up to 650 MHz. Like I said, it's running Android 7.1.1, stock Android experience, the best in my opinion. It has a storage capacity of 32 gigs with 3 gigs of RAM. The battery is a 3100 milliamp one. It has quick charge. Qualcomm quick charge on it so that will give you like 50% um, from 0 to 50% in like 20 minutes. The camera on the back is a Sony IMX shooter. It is a 16 megapixel shooter with f2.0. It has dual tone LED flash, it has face detection, it has uh, shooting in 4K at 30 frames per second, also shooting in 720p at 120 frames per second. It has face uh, fast motion and time lapse auto HDR, it captures in RAW, and also you can put the parameters in manual mode, so that will let you set the ISO, the shooter um, timing, and the white balance. Okay, and on the front 
you have a 8 megapixel Samsung sensor here with a true LED flash on the front. It has three lenses, this on the back has six lenses. Okay, and it also because it's a Samsung lens, it has the face beauty uh, function, which some of you like and some of you don't like, of course. It's a dual SIM phone, and you can uh, you can use the other uh, the one SIM slot you can use it for a SIM slot, and the other you can use it to expand the storage of the phone with a micro SD card uh, up to 256 gigs of course. Uh, let's see, it has proximity sensor, fingerprint scanner, brightness sensor, accelerometer, well that's that's usually the case. It has a headphone jack, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Okay, should I say something else? No. On their website you can find accessories for the phones, uh, especially here in my country in Romania. This These phones are really hard to find. Uh, they are listed on uh, websites for, for you to buy them, but they're, they weren't even in stock even when they put them up. So I've seen on other markets, but yeah. So, first impression on this phone. Really nice in the hand, really nice position to put the fingerprint scanner. I've seen people doing here and uh, on Sony actually it's nice here on the power button so I'm gonna uh, actually I'm gonna use this phone to do a review in Romanian and then I will do an in-depth review of apps loading times and others if you like this video go check out my other videos and subscribe if you want to see more reviews like this Thank you and have a nice day.